Hi, and welcome back to another video from your friends at Hill Engineering. I'm Camille, and today we'll be talking all about hole drilling residual stress measurements. drilling is a near surface residual stress measurement technique in which a small hole is drilled into the surface of a test specimen. Standardized by ASTM as E837, hole drilling is typically performed by drilling small depth increments until a final depth is achieved. After each depth increment, cutting is paused and the deformation near the hole is measured using a strain gauge rosette. When performed this way, the hole drilling method can be used to determine the distribution of residual stress versus depth from the part surface to a depth of half the hole diameter. Hole drilling works best for measuring residual stress near the surface of a specimen, up to depths of 80 thousandths of an inch. It is a useful technique for understanding the effects of finishing processes like shot peening, laser peening, carburizing, and machining. Hill Engineering Start, an automated residual stress testing device, can perform a variety of near-surface measurement techniques, including the hole drilling method. The DART can carry out a full hole drilling measurement and deliver automated results in a quick and efficient manner. There are four basic steps to perform a hole drilling measurement. Fixturing, alignment, drilling and strain acquisition, and inspection. First, the operator secures the specimen to a rigid fixture to prevent movement during the measurement process and to provide access for the dart at the measurement site. The operator then orients the dart such that the drill is perpendicular to the measurement site. Using the dart software, the operator defines the center of the strain gauge rosette. The dart software then guides the operator with step-by-step -step instructions to determine the zero depth location the point at which the cutter is just scratching the specimen surface. After pressing start, everything is hands off as the dart takes over the measurement, incrementally removing material and acquiring the strain data necessary for residual stress computation. Once the drilling is complete, the operator uses the software to measure the hole size and concentricity with respect to the strain gauge. This will determine whether the measurement was placed in the correct location on the gauge and if the concentricity of the drilled hole is within acceptable limits. The DART completes the post-measurement step by running the analysis to compute the residual stress and generates a final report. Given the small footprint of the devices used for hole drilling, it's extremely portable. Measurements can be carried out in the field under a variety of circumstances. Because the measurement profile is so small, hole drilling can be applied to parts with large or complex geometry including parts with challenging measurement access. Hole drilling also measures three in-plane principal stresses versus the uniaxial stress data provided by other methods. Finally, hole drilling measurements require relatively little time when compared to other residual stress measurement methods. Measurements can be performed in as little as 30 minutes for a full depth profile. This means high volume or high priority projects can be completed quickly. Hill Engineering has extensive experience with hole drilling measurements and a reputation for providing high quality data. We can perform measurements in our laboratory or on site to your specifications. For more information about the hole drilling method, click the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more instructional videos about residual stress measurement techniques and follow us on social media to keep up to date with all things Hill Engineering. I'm Camille, and until next time, make it happen.